Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to another gaming live stream over on the gaming channel, episode 9 of Euro Truck Simulator. Looking forward to this one today because I was just thinking the last two Euro Truck Simulator streams we did, I set myself ridiculous challenges. Uh, the, the, the last one, as you well know, was it £100,000 we had to make? It took me five and a half hours. The one before that, visit every city in the UK. That took about four hours. Today, just going to chill, just do some jobs um, and uh, carry on from where we left uh, last time. Now, last stream, five and a half hours playing ETS 2. We ended up in Riga with an absolutely smashed to pieces truck and I've not done anything, just loaded the game up from that last save. I've found a job going to Shechin. Now Shechin's very amusing because if you remember rightly, uh, we, did a, we did a members group flight on the main channel about uh, three or four months ago and I had to start from Shechin because my sim crashed and I just saw there was a job there which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, here we are in the ETS2 uh, in the Scania, all smashed to pieces. Uh, there we are. Um, that was the number we made last stream, £179,900. Um, if we go here to the uh, world map, here we are in Riga with our broken truck. I think we just dropped off some chemicals. Um, Going to just find a local garage if we can to get the truck repaired. I think there's one just here. And then we've got this job uh, to take us to Szczecin in Poland from Riga. So we'll be driving through the Baltic states and then uh, Szczecin's over here. We've already been there once, believe it or not, but uh, we'll find a few more jobs to do uh, if we want to get to Szczecin exploring Poland. Uh, who have we got here in uh, this afternoon then, or this evening, we should say? Uh, where are we? We've got uh, John Padfield, Agent Gold, Lucas, two tons of love, list of in. Lord Pringles is here. He says, hello, everyone. Good day to you. Uh, William Moore, afternoon. John, uh, how is the taste of freedom? Ah, yes, list of in got uh, silenced last <laughs> stream. Don't know what happened there. Oh, no, I think that's regards to something else, though. Uh, it's also my first day with full vaccination. Excellent. Uh, so you can go all over the place. Ed, too, hope you're doing well. Please drive safely. My nerves can't take another stri stream like last time. We're all start, new day, all calm, all legal. Uh, let's see what we could do. No fines is always the challenge at the start there. No doubt by the end of it we'll be driving around like a hooligan. Um, some dodgy backstreet mechanic, you've got it, John. Uh, Kevin Kirkland said Halsey and Craig BCFC host says hi as well. Uh, right then, so, uh, did I just set that as a target? I don't think I did on the world map. I think the local garage is here. Is that a bed or a... Where do I get my truck fixed? I, I don't actually really know. Actually, I think there'll be... Let's try it here. Can't be too far away. You guys will be able to tell me where to get it fixed anyway. Listerman says, all legal, you say. Unsubscribe. Let's <laughs> see what we can do. But it doesn't look like a truck which has got huge amounts of damage. But uh, yeah, it is 23% damage. You can see it says visit service station immediately. It does keep misfiring. But uh, let's get it started first. There we go. I have to turn the, the game sounds up a little bit. It's a little bit too quiet. Let me just jump into the older uh, Windows sound thing. Professional streamer here. I need to get like a sound board or something. Uh, let's crank up volume slightly. There we go. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. And hopefully we'll be able to get this fixed. Oh hell Dirk says Ed2. Yes, Dirk the saviour last stream. We actually made uh, quite a bit of money last time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was quite surprising actually. I was like, uh, Dirk, because he's rubbish for ages, and then all of a sudden he, he came good. Um, right, we're we driving on the right hand side, just about remembered that. Got to hear that mega sound pack, you got to, John. How's the sound? That should be good. I hope this is a garage here, or, or is it somewhere where I can at least get it fixed? No, that's a garage I can buy. Uh, how do I get my truck fixed? We've got five hours until that job expires. Can you hear the truck? <laughs> Alright, we're just going to have to cruise around until I find a garage. I'm looking on the map. What's that on the right? Ooh, what's that? No, anyway, that's jobs. What am I meant to be looking for then on this map? Sleep? Question mark maybe? Is that somewhere I can get it fixed? There must be a truck dealership or somewhere. Uh, maybe it's the question mark. You could always call for a tow. Search for a red spanner. Oh, It's usually a truck dealership. Maybe that question mark is a truck dealership. Right, we'll go the long way around. 
Because that traffic light's just gone green for me. That's a sign of how confident I will be with things today. <laughs> Every time it changes gear, it just gets. I swear to you. <laughs> I'm looking at the map wrong again. I genuinely thought that was the left there. I think that's a recruitment agency. Oh no. where appropriate. I'm already, I've already driven about 400 meters and of course carnage. I hope this is a truck place, not a recruitment agency. We'll soon find out. I'll just pick up the load with the broken truck and then pull it in the first place. Uh, doesn't look like a truck place, does it? What is it? Uh, well, I'll discover it anyway whilst we're here. But they're not going to fix my truck, are they? Damn it. Oh wait, what? I've already discovered it! Oh, I thought a question mark like that meant... Oh, oh god. So, until I don't play this game often. Oh no, should I just restart the stream? <laughs> ah, when you said it's a recruitment agency, I thought it was like half a guess. I didn't actually realise it was definitely a recruitment agency. God damn it, so where on earth do I get my truck fixed then? Ah, oh, this is a nightmare. Hmm. Well, that's what... That's where there's a rest station. Oh. Is it, surely there's something. Look for a red spanner. Can I? I might just pick up this job then because I want, really want to go to Shedshin, which is the whole idea behind this job. Right, let me pick up this job and hopefully in Shedshin or on the way, uh, we, we can get it fixed, hopefully. But there's the job to Shedshin at tracks. Let me just pick that up. And then, and then from there, we'll uh, hopefully get the truck fixed. So much for looking in Riga. I mean, the truck's not going to hopefully stop. It might just cough a bit. It does occasionally cut out. Oh well, we we'll just have to drive it a little bit knackered for a little bit longer. Drake, try and do it for the emergency call option. Will I lose that job though? View services. Tow to service. Oh, let's... An hour, 40 minutes. Oh, I don't want to... Now, I want to do the Shetcher job. Let's do the Shetcher job. And surely... Surely we'll find... After we've done the Shetcher job, we'll then get it serviced. Uh, Yuri, let's discover how the truck behaves with 100% damage. Well, I'm guessing not very well. At least I haven't got any fines yet. Yeah, going to Shenzhen says uh, Domino Mocino, I know, your favourite place. <laughs> I thought uh, Riga would be able to accommodate getting my truck repaired, but it appears if your truck breaks down in Riga, that's it, it's game over. <laughs> but it's quite relaxing today because I don't have to worry about... Um, no, there's no challenges today. I'm going to try and make a hundred grand. I'm not going to try and explore every town in the country. Good. Of 
God, look at that van! It's like a Bugatti Veyron, he's off! <laughs> Hello, Aviation24. Seen a fun fact, I'll be in Chechen in a week or two. Uh, let me just make sure I don't miss the junction here. Uh, I'll definitely post photos on Discord, very cool. Wait, have I got my lights on? I'm not getting any. Yeah, I do actually have the lights on. I got a couple of fines last stream for not driving my headlights on in the rain. You'll need it sooner or later. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see how many miles I've done in my truck. Full of diesel. That's my rage. The jewels what we're hauling today. Well, we're going to go pick up some tracks. At the moment, we're empty. Uh, tracks for some large excavator or something to take to Poland. With our truck, which is falling apart. 23% damage. That's not good. Set the job because of the damage to my truck. Absolutely, sir. I think I can already see the trailer. Freight market. There it is. Riga to Shechin. 25 grand. Take job. And I guess I can get. I can still get my truck repaired. I guess if we do drive past the spanner. That's a whopping great big truck as well. Look at that. That's mega. Sweet. Yes, mechanics don't mind if you have a trailer attached. Good. Uh, Wipok, a big fan of the opening gates. Very good. I thought it was completely unnecessary. <laughs> Check it out. All attached, ready to go to Shichin. Just sort the music out in the background here, guys, because it's very loud for me. There we go. Jumping back into ETS2. Let's do it. 593 miles, no fines yet. Chat now. Pro streamer here. My days. There we go. Uh, it says. Oh, what's happened? Hold on, my my keyboard's frozen. Let me just jump into the game. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, uh, hold on. I just need to. Uh, I've lost chat here for a second. Oh, what is my PC doing? It won't let me open it. There we go. Now I can see what people are saying. Ah, that's better. Uh, yes, it's unnecessary, but it's there and it makes it great. <laughs> True, I You are a fan of the old gate. I'm a fan of our load, look at that! Nice, 5am, ready for some daytime driving. Wicked. 
Nice save, I know, I was jumped. The problem is that in ETS2, unlike Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane, when you stream that, you can go out the application to do other things. In ETS2, if you go out the application, it minimizes the, the screen you can't have it open, and it and it shuts off all the controls and the audio. It's very strange. Uh, Lauren, the service shops tend to be near truck dealerships, uh, if that helps at all. Uh, Daniel says in uh, American Truck Simulator you can transport jet engines. That's awesome. <laughs> no. yeah, I've got all the DLC for Euro Truck Simulator. And, uh, we took last time, I think, in the UK job, we did one of those um, super ridiculous loads. Some massive tyres or something. Or something like that. Uh, Greg, I think uh, Convoy will be a laugh. Well, next episode, it'll be episode 10 of ETS2, and I think what we'll do is do the multiplayer version with some of the other members on the main channel. How's that sound, guys? I did see some people suggest it today, but I was like, ah, oh, I've got time to... I've been out all day. Uh, list of in 0.02 seconds uh, latency. Any chance for a quiz tonight? Well, on the, the gaming channel, I, I run it ultra-low latency, so literally, when you write something, I should see it within two seconds. But it does make the quality slightly, slightly worse. But I don't think you can really tell. And so I'm not keeping track of everyone else's uh, fights too. <laughs> Fair enough. I wouldn't want you to. Uh, Jill, make uh, watching this makes me want to play ETS2, ETS2 again. I, I've been, I've been enjoying this series, and uh, you know we started this game, you know, vanilla with nothing. We've managed to get, we've got two trucks now, Dirk and myself driving. Or two trucks, nearly up to two hundred thousand pounds. I'd like to, at the end of this, at least, if not get another garage, get another driver, because we still have only one garage in London. With, I think we can have three trucks there. We've only got two. Uh, Lauren, you found the Riga repair spot on the map. It's on the A5 west of the AA junction. And I don't know if that's on my what oh, A5 ah. A5 A8 junction. Hmm. Is it ah? Now if I go there. Oh, that's not much of a detour. And I've got how long until this job expires? I might do that, Lauren, then. Just go there and just... I think that's not going to be an issue, is it? Well spotted, thanks for that. Um, so trip distance, trip time 15 hours. And when does the job expire? Oh, 28 hours. Let's go get the truck fixed. Thanks, Lauren. First time, I think, since the pandemic, I've actually done a full week of uh, duty. It's crazy. I mean, I think maybe once last year I did a full week, but uh, yeah, I won't disclose exactly where I'm going, but I'm going to Spain three times and uh, Portugal once. Uh, Kitty system still grounded with PC issues. Ah, uh, sorry to uh, 
We're still having problems there. Should we get this soon? Fix as soon as possible. Uh, I can take those in up stickers off soon. I know. Do I have to check the Abbey out? <laughs> Engine now function. Yep. Visit service as soon as possible. Oh, I lost power steering as well. Uh, this is me speaking of Spain. Are they leaving the Euro start? Who, uh, who's playing today? Um, I can't remember. Oh, man truck dealer. Well, hopefully I'll fix my scan here. Yeah. Like better. Right, anyway, here we are. Let's drive into the spanner. And this is not going to be cheap. But, needs be must. Right, enter. I'm not upgrading it. Just the service today. Fifteen thousand four hundred twenty-six pounds. My engine. It's my chassis that's taken most of the damage. My cabin, my wheels. Repair. Good as new. One hundred and sixty-four grand. We're down. <laughs> there we go. Right, carry on onwards and upwards with my brand new spanking service truck. Oh look, I've just seen the mileage look. We've done five thousand miles now. Incredible. Five thousand in-game miles. Right, let's go. Slovakia, Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, Hungary. Uh, yes, because England will pay, play either. F is it? Oh, didn't really look there. Uh, England will be playing either Spain, Portugal, or Germany. Hopefully not Portugal. Last time England and Portugal played. Oh no, did, did Mariana England Portugal play something? I'll, I'll support Portugal on their own, but if obviously they're playing England, can't support them. <laughs> driving but no boat trips so 14 hours we'll probably have to have a rest at some point next rest is in four hours oh crikey I'm exhausted already I have to have a midday uh, snooze France no they play either Hungary oh, okay Tony, do you want to play American Truck Simulator? Well, I don't have much time to do even this one, so uh, potentially you know, later on in the year. Ooh, what's going on here? Ah, someone's had a little bit too much to drink, have they? Oh no, they've had a bit of a smash. Get sent to take care of that. What was that? After Shechin, should we take a job so we can pick up two tons partially intact play and get it fixed up too? Oh, yes. A yeah, little bit of incident on the old uh, members group flight, didn't he? <laughs> was it he was around. Where was it? He landed two tons. Can't remember. Well, near anyway. Bye bye, Latvia. Yeah, 
into a flyby before the turn comes. I think in the game as well. This is one of the DLCs. It does look very nice. What? Oh, is it giant cows? What have they be doing in Lithuania? They've given the cows um, steroids or something. They're massive. <laughs> I don't think they're real. So far so good, smooth driving, no mistakes, no fines, no issues. All good. Twenty-five minutes in. Ah, railway crossing. Don't we love these? Oh I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh and trains are already here. I don't know if anyone remembered the last time we played ETS2. I thought I'd try and beat the barrier. It didn't work, and I went straight into the barrier. Can you still see the train? I used to, I used to ask it. There it is. Thankfully, I didn't even have the opportunity to take the uh, risk today. <laughs> oh, look, there's another spanner. Well, I didn't even need to take the detour. We're going to drive past another one. There's always a tennis court. Very nice. Uh, listen, uh, listen to me, beat the train. Uh, John, you played chicken with a level crossing, we tried. Uh, Thomas Phillips, reckon flight some for Xbox to be worth uh, buying. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're not going to get the same sort of, if you're looking for realistic flying, it's, it's not going to be the best place for the Xbox game. But if you want to have a bit of fun, um, I mean, I'm going to get it. I think if you get the game pass, is it only a pound for the game pass you can get the game? Um, but yeah, I, I probably won't stream it, I'll just use it on the PC. Um, but I have an Xbox One X. But yeah, if you want to just fly over your home in a Cessna or a light aircraft, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, Jill, the gates will close suddenly when you get close. Yeah, I found that every time. I, I found that la found that out last time, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Head loads of flags flying. Why the speed limit so slow here? What's that there? Oh, what's that 
truck doing ahead. Unbelievable. Twanda, you're such a good driver. Yeah, don't watch my other Euro Truck Simulator streams. <laughs> Just landed and completed leads, fire leads, sadly on X-Plane 11. Ah, oh, there's something wrong with X-Plane 11. What aircraft was it, Adam? That's a long street, uh, long stream, long couple of flights. Fire is what, 2 hours 45? From Leeds, nearly pushing 3 hours. to have a nap somewhere. I forgot to have a nap when I ended the stream last time. I think that's more down to the fact that I've been streaming for five hours and really didn't care. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that ahead? Is that a toll road? What does that mean? Or is that someone... What? What's he got in his hand? I don't know. Uh, looks like I can rest up here. Look, I'll put that as a little uh, waypoint marker. Lisbon, has anyone watched the last Denmark, a Denmark game? That was a friend I missed that. Adam, you said the 737-800 made good time, around 10 minutes ahead of schedule either way, very cool. Uh, border Post, we're going through Carling, uh, Kalingrad. Ah, yeah, I did see on the map earlier there was, um, Kalingrad was in the game, it's like it was just one town. to make a donation to the authorities for a secure passage. Uh, thankfully I'm carrying only legitimate goods today. No problems. Ooh. Hope I make that service station as a policeman. Daniel Brush should be one of the next DLCs. Red Bull time. Other energy drinks available. Uh, John Bradford. Class carrying lorries around. I feel we get brake checked. Drive for the night. I mean, at the moment. Oh, it's going to start raining now. Oh, more rain. That means uh, I'll be skidding all over the place now. Oh, better turn my lights on as well. They're already on, thankfully. Oh, oh, this looks very serious. Adam, have you considered trying the Microsoft Flight Sim 2787? I know there's a development team which is working on it and it looks promising. Um, if they update it, I've got a good friend of mine in Discord, Mike. Uh, I'd love him to go uh, take me through it. Ooh, 12 miles an hour speed limit here. It looks very strict here. Yeah, I don't want to go into Carlton Grove. I love how the rain stops. Very good. That's... Oh, what documents do you want to see today then? Start the border check. Checking your documents, please wait. <laughs> Is everything all right, sir? <laughs> 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 
Everything's in order. Have a nice journey. What happens if it's not in order? <laughs> 12 miles an hour out of here as well. I'll probably start getting a clash to cop before I get me if I go over 12 miles an hour. Yes, I'm working on that. Oh, please don't find me. Oh, welcome to Kaliningrad, everyone. It looks very Russian ahead. Very interesting. I'm very close to the service station. Please don't get fined. I'm working really hard to not get fined today. Very Russian. Go on, out of the way. What's, now? What's this? My goodness me. More documents to be checked. Oh, for goodness sake. Stick places in sight, I can see it in the map. Much quicker with this though. I've just been checked. <sighs> I know. You're gonna get sleeping tickets soon, I know, to Wanda. I've uh, received many, many in the past. Hurry up. Oh, come on. What's the matter? What, what have I not... What? Wrong lane, boss. Ah, oh, I've been waiting here this whole time. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, no. How, how am I to get out of this pickle? Oh, for goodness sake. Thanks for the heads up, guys. <laughs> no, stop! No, look at the jeep behind me! <sighs> Incoming fine. Correct. <sighs> oh, I give him a little nudge. Look, his hazard light's on. Maybe if I just... Yes, I can move about the way, look. <laughs> and no fights. All good in the hood. <laughs> I've just done this. Unbelievable. Fine, in a, in a, no Romulus. I just nudged him out of the way gently. No fines whatsoever. And I nudged the one behind him. Excellent. Oh, now I've got to get through this barrier next. Carnage behind. Don't fall asleep boss manoeuvring. Excellent. Brilliant. Another entertaining day in Euro Truck Simulator. Alright, now let's just get there to the service station before I fall asleep. <laughs> Laura, no way the guard can see this and fix your documents are in order. I know documents are fine, even though I nudged a couple of cars out my way. My service arrived again, so close. Oh look, I oh, just saw a larder. <laughs> so cool. Oh, and the steering again. I've got the road conditions in this game. When it's wet, it's really slippy. How to get away with that? I don't know, John. Alright, here's the service station. Come on, literally. Not even 100 yards now. Just as I, I don't need diesel. I just need sleep. Where do I go to get sleep? Oh, don't tell me I've got to manoeuvre into this bay. Ah, oh, difficult. 
I'm on the grass. Beautifully parked. Do I have to turn the engine off? Uh, uh, a parking, Yuri, but I, I can't sleep. Why won't it let me sleep? Help! <laughs> sleep! <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why is it not letting me sleep? I can't park any better with that. Any help, guys? I've been literally right at the P. I mean, that is parked beautifully. Not allowed to sleep in Russia. I'm, I mean, look at that. Oh, that is satisfying. That is so satisfying. But not enough for the game to go, yep. I don't know. Let me just try and reverse not so close to the curb. Maybe that might be it. Try, oh, try backing up a bit more. Yeah, maybe. Ah, there you go. Look, I was too, too close to the uh, thing. Right, there we go. Finally. Oh my days. Right. Oh, I think Dirk bought some. Dirk, six grand. Nice one. He's doing all right, old Dirk. I'm gonna give him a promotion. Right. I'm rested. Oh, I should. Oh, you know what I should have done whilst I was here is just get some diesel. Maybe I can reverse into the space. Oh, I might as well get some diesel here. I should think it's very expensive. And Actually, no, should be that expensive. Can I reverse that in, do you reckon? Oh, you know what? There's a police car there. Not worth it. He's going to want to check my documents for the 200,000th time since I've been in this country. Right, I'm sorry, Van. I'm going. I'm running a little late. Right, at least we're rested. Uh, 13 hours, apparently, to get there. I don't know if it could take as long as that. So we get moving. Uh, next rest is in 10 hours. Show the police your reversing skills, Jewel. <laughs> Not the first attempt at reversing, that's for sure. God, it's very wet. Beautiful. Nice, sir. Nice load, sir. Yeah, that was a. I was getting a little bit triggered by that parking. Oh my god, what maneuvering I'm gonna have to do up here? Checks, is it? So to go round there, I have to go right and then left. Oh, oh my days. Oh, oh, what? Am I doing a 180? I'm very confused. Should have gone left at the station. Have I made a mistake? Oh, am I going to have to go through the border again? Oh. <laughs> Check your watch. I missed it. I went the wrong way. Okay, went the wrong way. I've seen you before, sir. Every good order. Yes. Right, hold on. I'm really confused. Where am I meant to be going? Go there and turn around. 
What is going on? Oh. <laughs> Surely if I just go left here somehow. No, I'm just going to go straight, surely. Um. Oh. He hit me! Oh. Get out of here, you... Yeah, you cronker reno. Yeah, you back out. You crush it to the side of me, you turnip. You saw that. That was... Yeah, this is I don't... No, yep, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Yeah. Get out of here. Kitty system one. Well, it seems like I've seen this area already. Go straight, the sat-nav is drunk, yeah. Ah, so this is the fourth time my documents have been checked. <laughs> Love the squeaky wipers as well. <laughs> Oh dear, why do none of these streams ever go normally? Look, all I had to do was go left and I'd be in, I'd be in flipping Shechen by now. <laughs> uh, oh dear, everything in order, good, thank you. Now where do I go? I'm just going to double check this sat Go straight, look, ignore the sat here. Oh, whatever, I know that car's saying turn left, but I'm just, I'm just, yeah, we're running late now, there we go. Unbelievable. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Uh, two times you're trying to practice on a Seto course of Silverstone, but I can't give you up the trap from laughing. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, thanks for the guys. I don't know if um, who else is here, but thanks for delaying it for an hour because I, I won't finish work and get home until. Well, at the earliest. Well, it depends, really, because I'm in the sim as a body. So it shouldn't take as long as it's scheduled for. Um, so I should be home no later than 8. Uh, Andy, I sympathise. I got lost in uh, Coventry once for a trailer full of uh, car parts for Halford's distribution centre. Ended up in a housing estate. Ah. <laughs> I'd far rather do it in this game than in real life. Oh, look at this weather. Right, well there, we've just passed the same petrol station. Now we're heading in the right direction and making progress. And a fine. One fine. Oh, give way. Oh, that's full brakes. Well, if there's a car coming... That, that junction came from nowhere. Thanks, uh, Latoura Games. I should, I should definitely be home by 8, because the, the actual... Sim finishes at eight o'clock anyway, and that's if it's uh, it's a full like someone's got his check, and what happens is they roster you as uh, a body when they can't get another one in. So it's a first officer has his check, his his uh, six month check. So I'm not getting checked, but you know I just sat there and he has his check. Weather, it's horrible. I had to go slow in the rain in this game. Uh, the more we have for the season finale, the better, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because we won't be playing a set of course anymore. I'm looking forward to season two already. Look at this weather. Some mega tracks on the uh, on the train, though, isn't it? Uh, village discovered. <laughs> Fingers crossed the chip knows his stuff and you get done on time. <laughs> I know the FO, he's a very, very good guy. He's actually an instructor. He's a very nice chap. Cars, look, larders, it's awesome. Look at the houses, that's wicked. 
it. So Farmer Giles. Just watching an episode of Clarkson's Farm today is so funny. Sun's about to set over here in Karningrad. I don't think I've seen a larder since 1992. I have seen one in the UK before, years ago. Alan, you trust yourself more in the Zebo than you would do in any uh, aesthetical race cars. I quite like to do another fun race again. Uh, I guess aesthetical will be the best uh, place to do that. It's a little bit quicker than the MX-5 though. That was really fun. Something manual. I love using the manual gearbox. Actually, I need to start using it for this game. As I'll push the I button, cap to see the range. Uh, fuel. He's got under about a third of a tank there. Haven't we? Uh, four hundred and what oh no, is that? Six hundred seventy-three miles. 79 litres. Enough to get to uh, Shenzhen. So much for getting no fines today. That's one fine. Well, it was my fault. Sort of cut in front of a lorry, but he could have stopped. <laughs> there we go. Speed. Mm, Trouble ahead. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Well, I break in time. Aggressive lane changing. Lights illuminating in the cab, that's very cool. Put my lights on, look. Flashing amber. <laughs> oh, no, 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 <laughs> Brakes are just good enough. I didn't see that coming. I thought it was sort of like a dual carriageway. We've no, no expected any traffic lights. Cool, off. I, that was full brakes all the way into love stationary there. Wow. Well, that lard is speeding off next to the police gun. Oh. Is he gonna let me in? Let me in, car. Look at the look at the mirror. He's not gonna let me in, is he? Well, I'm gonna force myself in. Yeah, take that. Nasty man. <laughs> Break fans on. All roads leads to Shetchin, said Double OC. Very cool. Then we're doing Audi A3 ahead. This is very steady. Oh, he's going for it on a blind corner. Bad, bad. No, I was half tempted. I need to turn left in a second. Oh, I, I could have had him. I could have had him, guys. <laughs> so if 
you got safe driving in this country though. Just imagining all those dash cam videos that you see on YouTube from Russia. <laughs> We're going left anyway. Veganland. Get off, son. Those graphics, by the way, who here ever played? Ah, uh, what game was it? Not that it reminded me that much of that, but uh, it was a game where you had a pistol and you used to buy the pistol and shoot. Was it Time Time Crisis? That was it. Who here played Time Crisis? Amazing that game was. If you didn't own it, you used to play it down at the um, cinema or the bowling alley. They always had a time crisis machine there. That game was epic. I don't know. The texture faces there reminded me of Time Crisis. And it used to. It was like a Golden Eagle pistol, and you used to be able to rapid fire it. it was so cool. Looks like any guy on PS1, basically, Lauren. Yeah, Time Crisis was on PS1, wasn't it? Such a great game. Uh, Anthony Russell, Time Crisis in the arcade was the stuff of my youth, mine too, man. Shoot off the screen to reload. Classic! <laughs> I remember. Uh oh, more border checks ahead. I was trying to save time by going that way, but I don't know if I can go in that lane. I better not risk it. I think I could have, but... I was trying to save time, but I didn't actually realise there was some spare ones here. Alright, hopefully that'll be the last time my documents are checked. Hamza, God... They got it in 38 degrees Celsius here in uh, Monastir. That is hot. Thank you. Have a nice journey. Is that another border check ahead? Wait, have I just gone wrong again? No, that's correct. Cut across here. Poland now, aren't we? Oh, they're going the truck lane. One to leave the country, one to enter the next. Huh? Lavish foods. <laughs> oh, welcome. Hola, I mean that's the person that's uh, subscribed and say hello, hello there. More documents to be checked. It's definitely uh, Poland we're in now, isn't it? Yes we are. A squeaking sound. Let's go! Any midnight in the game. Oh, yes. Uh, Darwin Ways, so welcome to Poland. Uh, Witami Mipushki. <laughs> you remind me, Domino Ways, see uh, uh, Chinquia, what does that mean again? Is that a thank you or goodbye? But how do you say hello again in, in Polish? Alison, what do checks remind me of driving to Croatia in my childhood? Nothing EU. Nothing EU after Austria yet. 
Chinquia, thank you. That's it. That's all I know, Domino Sino, because I always say Chinquia when I grab uh, a fuel receipt <laughs> if I've ever opponent after the aircraft's been refueled. I could remember if it was thank you or goodbye. <laughs> Dobri Denya, good morning, Zian Dobri. Oh dear. Oh, my opponent now. I have to get my translation book out. Look at this weather. Well, it should go for an hour. So what I'll do, I'll do one more job after this, perhaps, and then we'll call it a day. Just a little fun, chill one, and then next one, whenever that will be, we'll plan um, doing doing so kind with you guys. Pretty much. Chiquia, 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 chiquia. <laughs> what is going on here? It's not Dirk, is it? Doing a good job ahead. Frost, hope you're doing well. Oh, I really want to overtake this traffic, but I can't really risk it. There's nowhere to pull in. Look. It's not going to be like this all the way to shit shit, is it? That's seven hours. Before freedom of movement, it was easy to get a coach through some borders by just slipping the guards 200 bits in inches. <laughs> I can believe it. Uh, John got to change the colour of those lights to become a police truck. <laughs> I, mean, I will overtake them in the game uh, if there's a nice straight road. I haven't seen any oncoming traffic for ages. Oh, solid line now. John got to, uh, sorry, I think you delete your comment. It is going so slow. Lavish foods truck. About half traffic's going straight on, excellent. Beautiful. You could risk it overtake. Yeah, if we get stuck behind this traffic, I might risk it overtake. This uh, exca excavator track needs to be delivered ASAP. Looks like traffic's turning right ahead anyway. Ah, look, they're both going to Poznan. Ah, oh yeah, I'm going to go there. Have a nice evening. See carrying a concrete tubing. Ah, Adam, finally, I'm looking forward to going back to work tomorrow. I am going to Spain tomorrow. And the day after that, Spain again. A bit of a sim. And then Portugal and Spain again. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you know what the loads are like because the uh, loads have been very poor uh, with the the um, self isolation requirement pretty much from every major holiday destination. Um, there was a large protest today by a lot of the tourist industry. A lot of airlines came together um, 
and airport groups to go um, protest outside of Parliament. And it uh, was organised by the unions. Uh, my operator said if you're if you're free enough, you know, we, we don't um, protest you going to protest. And he said you can wear a uniform if you want to. John, high beams on for down, close eyes. Yes, that is uh, the motto at here uh, Alpaca Logistics <laughs> when running late. Very tiny little roads. A little petrol station up ahead. So I would be going perhaps a little bit quicker in the game, but with the roads being wet, you just skid off. Uh, Ka uh, Kai, what was the protest about? Uh, just the government's lack of attention to assisting the tourism industry, basically the travel industry, you know, the constant confusing messages, um, essentially, you know, we've got this brand new great traffic light system, which will allow you to travel safely and not have to quarantine, and then they added Portugal, which is great, really positive for the tourism industry, about two and a half weeks after they added it, they then moved it to the Amber List, based off very little evidence, the fact there were some more cases rising. Um, this time last year, when the recovery was restarting, there was no restrictions coming in from Spain, Italy there, and there was absolutely zero vaccinations, and cases were very, very low, and obviously we're going to have concerns over the Delta variant, and the new variants will obviously come to fruition, um, but that's the whole point of taking the vaccine. You know, after you've been taking the vaccine and been jabbed twice, which is what almost half of the UK population now have their second jab, you know, come on. Anyway, that's my little moan over. Awesome, 200 miles to go. Repeat double vaccination, we able to enter the UK without age isolation is the only hope, absolutely. Uh, I mean, how can they not, you know, it has to be Pete. I mean, this time last year, no vaccinations, well not quite this time last year, we're still in lockdown, but July, August, September. You know, there was a little bit of a summer schedule there, we, were, we had good loads, well not, not as good as it was in the past, but but there was no requirement to self-isolate, but there was not a single vaccine, the vaccine hadn't even been developed yet. And now we've got people vaccinated twice, the vaccines have been proven to um, you know, significantly lower the chances of you becoming seriously ill from COVID. Are you going to probably still get COVID? Probably. But uh, the chance of being seriously ill thanks to the vaccines is very low. But yeah, if you if you type in Google, you know, it was organised by Balper, the uh, Pilots Union, plus loads of other Tories, well not just Balper, they were part of it. But uh, no, I actually had some colleagues that went down to London For me, I don't really want to do that sort of stuff. I stand with them in, in, in agreement, but uh, I don't want to do any other things going on at the moment. Uh, Felix, very annoying considering domestic COVID rates are high in quite a few countries that are on the app list, I know. <laughs> and the thing is, other countries are now banning or making restrictions on the UK. So in Italy now, Italy have put restrictions on anyone coming in from the UK, I think, from today. Because of the, the Delta variant. Andy Covey here staying in some form. Genie's out of the bottle. We can't uh, be cooped up forever, especially now there's vaccines. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, absolutely agree with 100%. Uh, Bus, I reckon. It's not really holding us up, to be fair. He's speeding is just as much as I am. Uh, listen to me, uh, near me there was a giant uh, outbreak recently that went almost unnoticed because everyone was vaccinated so they didn't have any symptoms. <laughs> there you go. I can't really take you, John, not on these roads. I'll skid off. Double white solid lines, I should think, that be 
to say Poland is here and overtaking. <laughs> now we're going up hill I think as well, that won't help. Tailgating a little bit. He finds Alicante a lot next Flame 11, recently in 737, and the wind's thermals are rather strong. Is this realistic for warmer summer weather? Absolutely, Adam, yes. I didn't know that was really modelled that one in x 11, but uh, yeah, on a hot day, it's um, very noticeable. Thermals, you know, will, um, I mean, if you're in a glider or, uh, you know, you climb, if you, if you orbit in thermals. But yeah, it increases the turbulence at low level uh, thermals, certainly uh, bring a bit of uh, shaking. A bit of lightning here. Oh, someone's skidded off the road. Did you see the roads? The, the wheels skidding off the, the road there. Right, I'm, um, I know there's a blind corner coming up, but should we risk it? Let's do it. This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a rest stop there, and I missed that. Welcome Alfie Douglas, thanks for subscribing. Why am I signalling it out? It's so early. Oh, look at the traffic light. Oh no. Oh no, the amber, flashing amber. Remind me, I think that means you can go, just be careful. I hope so. Trucks behind me now is getting a little annoyed. And Luigi, like the cheek, the cheeky giggle. <laughs> uh, Greg, so do you have your roof lights added to your high beams? Oh, that's off. Uh, yes. Can you get fines for having your high beams on? Everyone is I find ETS too hard of an ATS as there's far more barriers stops you having to, uh, stops you taking to the shoulder to avoid head-on collisions when doing illegal overtaking. <laughs> yeah, true. Pretty restrictive. Some more head look. We'll have him. Generally this happens. Yeah, you know, we start the stream nice and calm and then usually about an hour, fifteen, hour and a half in, the speed just comes up a little bit. I might keep this momentum up here. to go. Ah, it stopped raining now. It's three in the morning, nice and quiet. Smooth operator. Just want to go too crazy with the speed because I'm trying to avoid fines and all it takes is a police car. Many miles, howdy Captain, better late than ever. How's the driving going thus far? Oh, good so far, still on the first job. Truck's repaired, it's now as good as new. We were arrested, we've had one collision. Well, a truck went to the side of me, it cut him up slightly. Uh, that's the only fine we received, about 300 pounds. So we're going a little bit faster, but otherwise, all is good. Dirk's made some money as well. Our second driver. Much. Yes, a little bit Astro G. <laughs> we ready in Shenzhen, just in time for breakfast. I 
I want on my wheel. I want one of those little spinner things that you have on forklifts. <laughs> John, Captain's doing the UK speed limit for cars. Correct. Go 60. Luigi, it would be great to have different re uh, seasons in ETS2 and ATS2, uh, uh, don't you think, guys? Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes, my arch nemesis, the railway barrier. There it is. Oh, look, he's playing your um, train simulator world or whatever it is. It's got a very small train. Thank God they're not the size of that massive cargo train that we uh, drove last time. Played train sim. Oh, ATS2 does have snow. Oh, cool. Is that a good game, Lauren? Mud Runner or Snow Runner? Because I saw that in Steam. It looks like my cup of tea. So you sort of like go off roading and stuff. And I think there's missions to play. I wouldn't mind playing that with just like the Xbox controller as well. Could be a, potentially a good stream here. I guess I, I guess the idea yeah, I was looking at it, you just go off roading and have to complete the course or something, don't know. <laughs> the railway barrier replaced the previous arch nemesis, the helicopter, yes. <laughs> we haven't had any diversions yet today. Mudrunner would seem good campaign multiplayer. Okay. I think I got Mudrunner three, FF3 through Epic. Watch some friends play Snowrunner and loads of fun. Uh, stuff to do is like rescuing stuck trucks, building bridges. See so I look at chat to do a little bit of swerving. <laughs> right, Two hundred eighty-eight miles of range. So we'll need to get some diesel soon. about oh, 45 minutes ago in game. Unbelievable. How long until rest? 1 hour 26 until rest and we're 2 hours away from completing the job. Right, pedal to the metal. There's only been just one thing. Get there quickly, drop off, sleep, new new uh, new job. Excuse the speed guys, but uh, I'm not resting before I finish the work. This guy sleeps more than a cat, I know! <laughs> Don't want to roll my truck either. Oh, could be a bit of a, this is a risky overtake, but I've got good momentum. Oh, oh this is really risky! Absolutely <laughs> no problemo! Here comes some fines, I don't think so in two. <laughs> no way I'm resting though. One hour, seven minutes, and we're only one hour, twenty-nine now. Yes. Some serious speed. Oh, uh, construction work. Actually, what sim add-ons are you looking forward to the most? Um, what have we got coming up? I'm looking forward to the 146 being updated to have that FMS because I've only done two streams in that aircraft. Um, obviously, PMDG NGX, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, which will probably come at the end of the year. Uh, there's an A340 coming out from Tolis. I'd really like to try that because next plane, I've not really flown any very you know uh, commercial four-engine jets apart from Concorde. Uh, there's also another flight I'd like to do in Concorde as well. I'd like to do um, 
flight to the Canary Islands from, from the UK in Concord. It's a flight I do every day and we can kind of go over the Tango Airway, go supersonic, see if we can do it in less than a couple of hours or so. Oh, we're very close now, look, 26 miles. Unfortunately, the roads will be like this the entire way, I think. There's not been many uh, dual carriageways or motorways on the journey today. Brakes are now on fire though. Yeah, DC6. Well, um, we'll fly that again soon. The main reason being I don't want to forget everything I learnt the last couple of days. It won't be a cool flight to do in DC6. I quite like to set up Fat Sim as well. But I, I think BMDG said with DC6 um, there's an issue with either going on multiplayer with it. I think if someone else goes in a DC6, they're patching it or something. I'll probably wait until they've updated it. I don't know how often they're going to update it. They said they've got some things ready for an update. Yeah, it was great fun that stream yesterday. That bus is... I can't catch up with him. Ah, Shenzhen on the horizon. Is that the job? I got no. I got to chop this off first. Look, yeah, I got to chop this off. Otherwise, if I rest, I'll be late. Welcome to Shenzhen. Thank you, Toro. We've seen it. We've actually been here once before. I thought we actually hadn't, but must have been in one of the earlier streams. Oh, yeah, I got to drop this off first before I rest. Oh, I was going to overtake, but that's uh, too risky. Look, is there's traffic turning left. Look, it's all turning left. Rohit, uh, love your truck. By the way, did you see the race last week? What was your reaction? Uh, I did watch the French Grand Prix. It was good because, well, the French Grand Prix in the past has not exactly been a great entertaining race, but obviously with the improvements Red Bull have had this year, I think it's a win for a good season between Max and Lewis. Uh, John, I feel a like no rest fine coming in. I think so too. Definitely down to the fact I've got to do this job first, uh, drop this job off as well, so I need to reverse it into the bay. Out of the wrong seat here. Some question marks to explore as well. Look. Anyway, here we are, the construction site to drop off the uh, track excavator. Yes, always do the hard ones. Oh yeah, tricky one. Thanks, Tim. My brakes nearly caught fire. Fire yesterday <laughs> driving through the Peak fire, District fire. with 26 tons of bricks. <laughs> Smiley face. Oh, Tim Fraser, thanks again, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, well, I brakes nearly caught fire in the game here, but yeah, I'd far rather do the, that that in game instead of driving your real truck or driving bricks. Why, goodness me, uh, it sounds very exciting. Well, thank you very much for another donation, Tim. We're very generous again, there's certainly never any need, but but uh, I hope you you uh, your, your truck is all fine and your brakes recovered. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Well, he's just coming here to watch me reverse. Tim, if you don't know, guys, is a member on the main flight the Sim Channel. He's been a member for such a long time. And he's a truck driver. Welcome aboard BE. Oh, look at that. That's butter parking. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, maybe. I should give up the day job after all. There we go. Right, better get some sleep. 
Lots of money. Excellent. 18 grand, 25 grand. It was a long distance delivery bonus. Oh yes, level 15 professional here. And I get to rank up. Uh, got a little maxed out long distancing. Let's do another chemical one, flammable liquids. Uh, let's do toxic, toxic stuff. Apply, there we go. Right, before I do anything guys, I need to get some sleep, hopefully, before find oh loads of places to sleep where would you recommend Dolno I seen it <laughs> let's go here because I've not discovered that yet and I'll find the other two question marks but I must sleep first I better get a find now watch this Try to stop so I can keep the uh, traffic light right in the gap there. <laughs> what a light up, I know. It was a bad list of it. Shot myself. And we'll do one more job, I think, and then we'll call it a day. <sighs> Just been a lovely little chill stream, this one. Loved it. Oh, it's too busy. Yeah, I was trying to find the flipping ticker. There we go. Cool. Oh no, is it? No, I don't want to buy the garage. Ooh, as tempting as it is, 160 grand, all I want to do is sleep. I saw a little sleep thing there, I swear. How do I sleep? Do I have to... Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh, what have I done? I just want to rest! I just saw a sleep icon. Unbelievable. I love my little side exhaust on this truck. It's so cool. I wish we were going beams on. How do I sleep then? Purchase to sleep, go somewhere else. Oh, I'm learning so much about this game. <laughs> right, so be it. There we go. You have to buy a garage to sleep there. Unbelievable. Sense of urgency here, guys, because I'm not getting a sleeping fine. Stay green. I get a sleeping fine. It is just, just when I arrive in the thing, every single time, every time, I just have no words for this game. Just every time. <sighs> uh, I think that's Dirk. Dirk, two grand. He's even making less money for me now. Unbelievable. Right, it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. Rested. One more job to do then. <sighs> Unlucky with the sleep. It happens every time, Panky Tech. Every time. Right. Um, let me just discover the question marks first because 100% completion is the challenge. <laughs> Loan instalment in as well. 188 grand. So probably in total today I've only made, what, about 5 grand with all the repairs. I've made nobody today. But at least hopefully I'll end the stream with an undamaged truck. At least the weather's beautiful here. Mashing through those gears like nobody's business. It's the game's fault. Ab absolutely, it's definitely not mine. <laughs> right, what well, we discovered here, another recruitment agency. There's no point recruiting a third driver because I only have two trucks. Maybe at the end of this next job, I will have enough money to get a, maybe a truck and another driver. The last question mark. Oh, nice boat here in Shetchen. Oh, of course. Excellent. We'll pull up on the curb and find some work. Ooh, a Mercedes truck. Nice. Right, I'm just going to pull into the Mercedes dealership. I'm going to buy a Mercedes, but 
just to see if we can find some work. Mm. There we go. Uh, right, so escape. Um, let's have a look here. Job market. Uh, for eight. You can afford the truck and a drive with the money you have. Thanks, Danielle. What do you reckon then, guys? With that money, would you reckon a, a third truck and a third driver? Um, because my garage in London, I think, if we go here to uh, garage manager, we have the ability to have one more truck and one more driver, so that's fine. Um, let me know in chat what you'd recommend. Well, I'll do one more job, and then that will be it for today, and then we'll decide what to do. Right, so what is the best possible job out of Shenzhen? 50 grand? Oh, that's a long drive. Cool, blimey, Osnabrück. 50 grand, though. Ooh, cars. That's to Denmark, though. We've been towards Denmark. Oh, no, oh, hold on. I'm just looking for Shechin though, aren't I? Derp. Um, my goodness, well that's going the way we came. Rotterdam, back towards Holland. Wall panels, 15 grand. Mm, not the most lucrative jobs here. Cauliflower to Magdeburg. That's from Riga, yeah, I just realised that. Ooh, not much going on in Shechin. If we drive to Berlin. A Grimsby. Ooh, one of those mega trailers. Oh, I like doing those jobs though. That will take me all the way up to Sweden again, though. Hmm, reinforced bars. Yeah, the long wall added an hour to the stream, yeah. Shetchin to Shetchin. <laughs> Little domestic job. 500 quid. Ah, oh, that's a long one, though. And that's from... Hmm. Where have we not been? We've not been in... Oh, I need, look, I need to get some more DLC, look done quite a lot of places. We could go back towards Holland through Germany. Sort by price per mile. Yes, you're right. Was it price per distance? Oh, that's not bad for six grand, but it's a very short distance. Well, we could go towards Magdeburg. I don't mind doing that and then doing another job because what would be through now? 30 minutes? Should we do the cauliflower? Just a short job. Take us towards Germany and see if we can find some more work. It, because there's nothing massively lucrative here. That's a very long journey. That's uh, 916 miles. That's 169. If we do that and then do another 400 mile odd job, that should see us through. Cauliflower? A bit boring though. Yeah, let's go towards Germany again. We have a lot of Germans in chat. Cauliflower it is. Brabham Radar. What was that? Show you the way. Oh, show you the, oh, show you the way. <laughs> anyway, to Magdeburg. No, I don't wish to buy myself. Look at the traffic now. Much, much busier. Looking the wrong way. I forgot I was no longer in the UK. Oh, gosh, I'm still... Andy waiting for your dinner. Very nice. To Germany. Oh look, we're right next to the cauliflower factory as well. It wasn't too bad financially as well. It's all about getting that reputation up. Ah, I see the cauliflower truck already. I only weighed nine tons as well. I'm here to collect your cauliflower. There it is. The concrete stairs. Twenty-three pound. Um, yeah. Could go. To, let me know, guys. Cauliflower. We could go. To, we haven't been towards this. We haven't been towards Austria, Slovakia, Hungary yet. I don't think. Concrete stairs. Well, we we stick the plan. I'll do this one. I've got room for another job here. Germany cauliflower addiction. Okay. High <laughs> speed vegetable uh, delivery approved. Brilliant. Flowers attached. Beautiful. Oh, transit. Let's do it. Oh, 
I see, oh, people are saying stairs now. <laughs> oh, sorry. NT wanted stairs, Benny Miles wanted stairs, Jablin wanted stairs, oh dear. Oh, I've got cauliflower to Germany instead. <laughs> sorry, guys. I did see some cauliflower voters, though. Oh, you can tell it only weighs nine tons. It's high speed. It's very close to 169 miles. I'll get room for another job after that. Oh, diesel! That's one thing I forgot. Ah, look at that. Right on the way. Perfect. What is... Uh, Berman coal? Javier's Ber Blumen Coal. I don't even know what that is. Top clock equals top descent. What that reads. Brilliant. Oops. Oh, it's cauliflower. <laughs> there you go, Javier's. Although I butchered the pronunciation. I didn't know Shetchen. Magdeburg people liked Chechen's cauliflowers. <laughs> Have a guess, Captain. I don't know. I, I thought it might have been some alcoholic beverage where where you uh, ferment cauliflower. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Got some gas coming up. In Two hundred meters. It also means it's Polish as well, said Domino AC. Very cool. It'd be nice if we could make 200, uh, have 200 grand in the kitty. Let's fill her up. 88 pence a litre, that's very cheap. Seems cheap compared to diesel in the UK for your car. Beautiful. That was cheap. Six hundred and seventy-eight pounds. I have to remember to drive back here when I need to fill my truck up. What was that? Is that dirt making? Oh no, it's a diesel, wasn't it? Dirt. That always happens. Right into Germany we go. Many miles cauliflower is known as cauliflower here in the States. Lovely. <laughs> I want to know where I can get diesel for 88 pounds in real life. Uh, 88 pence, sorry. Welcome to Germany. Guten Abend. Uh, John, just make a giant cauliflower cheese and deliver that. You know, you'll add a value. Yes, avoid the local cheese factory, you just combine the two. Awesome. I can't believe that stream where I had to make £100,000, that was crazy. I mean, I've been streaming here an hour 40 now, and I don't think I've even made... I don't even think I've made 10 grand yet, <laughs> with all the repairs. I did say Magdeburg, didn't I? Magdeburg. Magdeburg is how you pronounce it. Okay. Um, what I might do then, we'll do one more job after this because it's a short job, but prior to doing this, what we what we're saying, we're going to get a third truck, put it in our London base, and then a third driver, or should I open a new garage somewhere? Um, I, don't, I just want to, to make as much money for our pack logistics as possible. Those repairs are from the 100k stream, I know, Pete. Uh, ball forward. Only one 
lots of cauliflowers today, look. Well, no, by midnight tonight, basically, Wednesday. It's uh, 44 minutes past midnight. I was impressed you just wouldn't give up on that 100k. I know, I was close to John. Um, I mean, my back hurt after that one. Um, <laughs> but I was determined, if you remember rightly, there was nothing going to stop me. By the way, if you put gasoline in a diesel power fire truck, you get to buy a new engine for the fire truck. Oh dear. Not that I ever did that, but a guy in the department would be dead. Yikes. Yeah. Now, I think I watched a video on YouTube from a TV show called. Uh, well, they have Top Gear. There's another one on Channel 5, and I can't remember what it's called now. Fifth Gear, I think it is. And they put. They put petrol in a diesel, and it actually lasted for absolutely ages. It was a really old diesel, though. Um, and they were saying like older diesel cars were would be far better than newer ones because newer ones have computers and they they can actually judge the fuel quality and make changes to the the way it burns it. Whereas an older car doesn't have that. And actually, they put they put uh, gasoline petrol in a diesel power car and it went for absolute ages. I think it didn't actually have any problems. Get out of the way! Are you going to let me? Oh, unbelievable! Move lane or or something like that. Dab AI. Never give up. <laughs> Roadworks on the other side. Only got a hundred miles until we get to Magdeburg. <laughs> List to referring to the A three hundred stream. Ah oh, yes, don't worry, if we ever have any technical problems or anything in the stream, or if I set myself a goal, I'll do everything in my power to complete said goal. If it's a streaming an aircraft, we'll try what we can to get that blade on the ground. No matter what some technical issues are thrown our way. Uh, your rule would have been to make 100 grand without fines. So I would have probably been done an hour sooner, but no, we were basing it on what we actually had to, you know, cleared funds in the account. going right on it. Yep. Ah, oh, trailer damage 1%. Oh, that was very lucky. It could have been worse. I was too busy looking at the uh, signs and on the map and I was realised that went right. Well, I'll dig the trailer. I was quite lucky there. 1% <laughs> damage. Oh, that was close. 1% damage. 2% truck. But that's just wear and tear, isn't it? I've not actually dinked the truck all day. Yeah, that was a camera, wasn't it, Chamberlain? 67 and a 50. You got away with that one, I know. I must have just chipped a bit of paint off that trailer. It was very close. Expert swerving. <laughs> Cool. That 
cauliflower that uh, have been all mashed up. We know what we do. Uh, we. Ah! Oh! Well, that's probably the hardest cone I've ever hit. What in the world? That cone? What was that all about? Unbelievable! <laughs> that made me jump. Ah! Oh, I hit a cone which I think was made out of the same stuff as Captain Canada's shield. <laughs> what in the world? Unbelievable! That smashing sound was horrible. I'm gonna replay that. It was a cone. I think it hit. You know the rules, guys. Here at Alpaca Logistics, we have full permission to uh, ignore roadblocks. Oh, you know who I meant, Captain America. <laughs> Did you take Coman Joe? It was a concrete. It was a concrete uh, thing. What was that thing made out of Captain America shield? Um, the the chemical thing. Log story. Vibranium, yes. Anyway, here is Magdeburg. Oh, I thought I'd actually been here before. <laughs> What's he carrying in that truck? Actually, look, the truck damage is still at 2%, so I think we've gone away with that one. Beautiful. And there we are, at the Cauliflower Factory. Oh, up there! The truck got stuck, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, Got to do the tough parking facility. Oh my goodness me! That. Oh. Right, let's see what we could do. Proceed to the unloading area. Oh, I can't see the bay. I remember Tim. Tim Fraser saying, "Make sure when you reverse, try to make it so you can actually." See trailer on the other side. Remember the rules? I will always do it in this view. Not bad, not bad. Beautiful. Oh, that is butter parking. Perfect. Job's all completed. Let's go here to the world map. And I'm going to go here to the freight market. And let's have a look here at Magdeburg. Oh, this does no decent jobs. 13 grand. Price per distance, Malbo. 
Copenhagen. Uh, Magdeburg, Kiel. Zurich? Nah, we've been to Zurich. Dortmund. We're struggling here. Zurich. We've done Zurich already though, Jamin. Let's have a look here. Stuttgart. Well, we could go further south in Germany. Hmm. Well, I've already been to Copenhagen. I need a bit of advice. Let's go to capital of the large country north of the USA. <laughs> Unbelievable. Should have done the Bruno Stairs job, I know. Well, I still got a bit of time left. Just want to do another 30 minute odd job. Uh, there's just nothing here. Malmo. Young seedlings. <laughs> We could go to Kiel with beverages. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Yeah, come on. Offer expires in 20 minutes. Got to do the double Arctic one. Just for fun. It's only six grand. Only £26 a mile, but we love doing the double trailers. Fresh fish, 14 tons. What about sleeping? We've done enough of that, I think. Right. It has to be the double trailer. And then we'll uh, go from there. Wicked. Oh, sorry, with regards to finding new jobs, I see what you mean, Javelin. But I'll do, I'll do the, uh, I'll do this one though, for just for the double articulated lorry, because it's more fun. Uh, I can already see it, look at that. And it was very close. Yes. Six grand. Six grand! <laughs> it's hardly worth it. <laughs> That's how much we're getting fines on certain streams. That uh, I can actually do 200 miles as well. It's not exactly a short journey. I can't believe I'm doing this. Cool. Can't see. Sorry, car. I'm just going to have to swing into your lane just as I get this out of the yard. Understanding. Excellent. Uh, problems with Nightbot. Yeah, I'll. Uh I'll have a look into that. I think I know why. There's Laura back here. I'll have a look. These are also undiscovered roads. Oh. And now I just need to remember it's a double trailer. Using all 
my talk at the moment. Oh, what a junction. Salmon. I'd uh, love me a good teriyaki salmon dinner tonight. <laughs> I've no idea. A fresh fish. Probably the Don's fish. 14 tons of fresh fish from the port of Magdeburg. <laughs> Which is right landlocked. <laughs> so far I've had today. Not that much, I don't think. One sleeping fine, one minor collision, and that was it. What's the next step of grading the truck or getting a bigger, better truck? I'm happy with the truck, many miles. I've spent so much on this one. Um, and I've already done heavy loads of it. It's already quite capable of doing it. It's got a massive engine in it. It's got one of the best engines, I think, in the game, is it? Well, you guys will know more than me. It's probably not the best to check the front of the truck at the moment. Let's see if we can quickly do it here. It's a Scania 540, I think it's got a big engine. Um, so I'll probably keep this as my main truck for a while. My first truck is being driven by Dirk. So I think the next aim is to buy a third truck now and uh, get a third driver. Some nice speeding there, yes. A little bit longer, six grand for a 280 mile journey. That's a bit ridiculous. Pounds. That's acceptable. I'll keep the speed up though, it won't be. It's going twice the speed. There's all sheep in there, but no, there's a cut down forest. Ooh, it feels a bit tippy. Don't have the 
power now with this to get past. Trade is about twice as long as well. Oh, this is this is very dangerous. I think I'm past him. Yes. Uh, 66 and a 37. Are you in a super rush today? Yes. <laughs> so I think this job was a little bit longer than I was planning. And only six grand. I've actually been on these roads before. No, new road discovered at least. We have been to Dortmund. That was sketchy. Oh, no, no, oh, it yeah. feels like I'm rolling it though. <laughs> right, next victim ahead. Oh, do I keep the pace up and take a risk? I think we will. Line corner, solid white line <laughs> on a massive truck. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, no! After that crazy maneuver and overtake, I get a headlight usage offence. <laughs> oh my goodness me! As if, as, as if that just happened. Oh, for goodness' sake! Headlights on. Stupid game. At least it'll be the freshest fish in Dortmund, that's for sure. <laughs> cool. That's it, Betty Bars. Don't mind the white line crossing. It's a fine for headlights <laughs> and speeding. the junction and a traffic light changed. After speeding, overtaking on the blind bend, overtaking on the brow of a hill, crossing a solid white line, they find you for headlights. These crosses <laughs> need to go back to police school. <laughs> this one will work as Germany after all, as fast as you like, but without headlights, <laughs> die. <laughs> Made 200 grand. That was, uh, you know, 20 grand <laughs> total. Thanks, N2, for your mathematics again. Now 
ask. Percent is that just that's the wear and tear, isn't it? It's going a lot quicker, I swear, than it usually used to. Because the cargo's not damaged. There are no short messages. Is it every time I do a job, I need rest about half an hour after I've completed the job? Always the same. Time disparity, speed, absolutely. I've got to make sure, look, rest is 2 hours 58, they're in 3 hours 15, so I just want to make sure I get there before I need rest. <laughs> speed is the only answer. Uh, many miles, would you be so kind to increase your voice or decrease the truck sound a bit? Oh, yeah. Is that better? I'll put the mic a little bit closer. My time is heavy all time and high speed time. <laughs> I haven't had any speeding fights yet today. I need to keep my eyes open. <laughs> I know Ed too, just jinxing it, that's all. Forty-three. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two hours thirty-nine now. So within five minutes. Ooh, truck. times to park accurately so far so good next rest stop two hours 22 uh, I'm there in two hours 17 excellent so I should get there we've we made half an hour up in game <laughs> might as well keep the speed up though and then what I'll do is uh, rest so whenever we do the next episode I'm well rested from Dortmund 
Well, so, yeah, we, I don't know if we ever said in chat, is it going to be another truck, another driver, or a garage somewhere? I guess I have to drive to the place to buy a garage, but I'm guessing it's going to be another truck and another driver. Uh, fill the garage before buying a new one. Ah, very good. I'll buy a third truck then. Oh, hello officer. I was too busy talking to him to realise I'm speeding. That was the brook. Supply space tonight. Use your TRS to go faster and straight. Brilliant. John, a garage in Europe might earn some money if you could get a truck and driver too. But garages are really expensive. That garage we saw there was like 160 grand or something. 180 grand. What's going on here? Let's see how nice look. My garage in the UK with three drivers doesn't earn too much because my drivers went to the same school Dirk did. <laughs> Does that make a difference if you have a third, if you have a, a third, a, sorry, a second garage in a different country, will that make you earn more money? Because I guess Dirk's only doing jobs in the UK. But we hired him because he was really cheap, he was like the cheapest driver, but obviously he doesn't earn so much money, so probably that's not the best thing to do. Come on. Poor <laughs> Well, close now, thirty two miles. I had expensive ones, but my third car just brings in a few hundred per job. Oh dear. It's not the man you wanted your team. Ooh. Here we go. I base in a low tax country and sell it to the driver. I force him to uh, form a company under yours. Maximum income. <laughs> I need to be in the right lane here. Come on, come on. Some excellent high speed motorway driving. He had to get his job done nice and early. Ah, traffic lights again. Uh, Lucas, what do you think of the French Grand Prix? Yeah, really good. We were discussing that earlier. Um, yeah, the Max Lewis title contention is definitely spicing up the season because the last two French Grand Prix have been really boring. Well, I fell asleep at least during the last one. size of this trailer. So, you know, look at that, next rest in 53 minutes and we're there in 19. Wow, oh, pedal to the metal. You see, speeding does pay off. <laughs> it does. And that's no speeding fines. Well, let's wait until we've actually dropped this truck off and had some sleep. I agree, Lucas. It should be great all the way to the end, let's hope. Of 
first time in Dortmund. Yes, I know I'm getting tired. <laughs> Always tired in this game. I think with the Arctic trailers, it doesn't make you do difficult parking, which is good. Not that we have any problem doing that these days. <laughs> yeah, sure do. And there we are. Can't remember what we're carrying. Fresh fish. Cauliflower and fresh fish today, and articulated lorry parts. Oops, we've got keyboard troubles. Where do you want this? Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just had to drive about an inch forward. I could do anything. Uh, still pretty tricky when it's right in this corner because you can't get there in one. You have to sort of reverse a little bit. Maybe I will be able to. <laughs> Just trying to straighten this track. <laughs> that wasn't too hard, as long as it lets me... Oh no! Get out of here! And this thing's impossible to reverse! God. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do this one. How do these guys reverse these styled trailers? Losing the rear one, look. Oh, whatever. It's <sighs> close. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, I'm now going to get another sleeping fight because it's going to take me two days to be able to park this trailer. Come on. Yay, six grand. <laughs> Proficiency bonus. Get in. I'll take that. Right, continue. Sleep, and then new driver, and then industry. <laughs> let's go over here. Ooh, loads of places to discover. Uh, let's go look at the garage at Dortmund whilst we're here. Just be a bit nosy. So I think the first one might have been okay. I just need to probably drive a little bit further forward. <laughs> Wheel spin. Oh, leaving the fresh fish in there overnight, are you? I love the wheel spins at night. Uh, in the rain. I have to try hire a driver called Andy. If there's an Andy, I'll hire him. I'll promise you that. <laughs> oh, gosh, of course. Oh no, I can't rest here, can I? Because it's a garage. God, I remember now. Goddamn game. Ah, oh, 180, look. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, wheel spinning everywhere. That's not bad. A stream total earnings of 37 grand. I thought it was a bit less than that. That's not been too bad at all. Oh. 
I love it, the rain look. Watch this when the traffic lights go green. Look, when you put your foot down, it just wheel spins. <laughs> look at that! That's wicked! Well, this is just a regular garage. I don't want to go park there, look. There we go, let's get some rest. And there we are. What we'll probably do then is now go here and we'll probably start next time in Dortmund. Nice chill stream. I haven't even been here yet. We'll probably go further south. We've got loads of places in Germany. Look, Luxembourg we haven't been to either. Brussels. Germany could do with some exploring. Uh, but let's now have a look at... Notice I haven't summarised finds yes, yet. <laughs> Good one. Oh, no, I don't want that as a map view. Escape. There we are. So, you guys want me to buy another truck. Now, do I, I have to drive to a truck dealer, don't I? What truck am I getting? Oh, what? So, there's really not much point finishing Dormund. A Mercedes truck? Oh, what, what's the cheapest? <laughs> Daff, Merc. Oh. Now, now, if I go there, does my truck stay here, or do I just travel myself? I think we haven't got a DAF truck, have we? We've got a Scania. We've got a Volvo. We don't have a DAF. Is DAF a good brand? Let's buy online. Feature is for trusted customers only. You need to own five trucks before you can buy online. Visit then. Do you want to travel to Braben? Oh yes, let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a DAF. Oh yeah, that looks very boxy. <laughs> Hundred grand. What's the cheapest daff you do? Uh, that is the cheapest daff. What's the most expensive one? So many. Level 29 for that one. Uh, oh, is my chat frozen? Sorry, my chat's completely frozen. Let me just refresh this here. There we go. Another Swedish truck. Buy a larder. You can buy online. I can't, Robilo. Mercedes. DAF, get the new one, a 2021 DAF XF line is good. Yeah, but I'm not going to be driving this, remember. It's going to be a, a, a XF 105 Space, the box truck. A, a Celestial Blue. All right, we're going to get one of these then. Let me just customise it slightly. Oh, just put down the printer on accidentally. I don't, I don't want to spend it like any... I just want the paint. I want Alpaca Airways Blue. <laughs> that's ridiculous. 200 grand! Oh no, that's how much I've got, I was going to say. These are some very cool paint schemes. Give the Scania to Andy. Yeah, I might give it, to, if we can find it, Andy. Where's Alpaca Blue? Oh, that's, no, that's like disco blue. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what colour is that? <laughs> Oh wow, that's very pink. Oh, I'm trying to find that. I don't know what the HSV colours are, the RGB colours. Just need an alpaca blue. That's better. Oh, flight next to sim blue. That's nice. I think we'll go with that. Nice and simple. Big da Look, it's got three window wipers. That's a bonus. Quite a cool looking truck. Right, I'm buying it. Confirm. Uh, purchase. 106 grand. It's do I'm doing it. Uh, deliver it to London and then pick the target slot. So I guess that one. Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your new truck. We will take your old one to your garage in London right away. What? So I'm in this truck now? No, I don't want to be in the DAF. Oh, I've screwed this up. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you selected to drive it. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Oops. Well, well, maybe I'll drive the DAF next time then. Oh, I, my Scania is my truck though with the custom sounds. Oh my, it's really showing it off. Unbelievable. Well, is there a way for me to quickly travel to London? Ooh, oh, it's left-hand drive as well. God damn it. Check it out though. 
my DAF XF. 93 grand in the kitty. DAF it is then, yeah, I know. Now how do I, is there a way for me to quick travel to London? I don't mind starting there next time. Yes, you can quick travel, let's do that then. Well, I want to go all the way to London, so we're all there. Oh no, that's not. Uh, Louis, you can hire another driver and give him or her the DAF. Okay, let's hire a driver first. Players, where's my truck gone? Where's my other truck? Why can I only see... Oh, no, it's drivers, that's why. I was getting nervous there. Yeah, he's in the Volvo sleeper. Uh... <clears throat> oh, I need to go to recruitment agency, don't I? Oh, this game. This game is hard. <laughs> there we go. Hire a driver. Right. Have we got an Andy? Arnold? We've got an Arnold. He definitely looks like a truck driver. His reputation, though... There's a lot to be divided. John, Pedro, Christine, Bastian, Maya, Marek, Jiri, Maros, Cameron S, Petter, Simon L. I don't like the look of any of these drivers. Oh dear, oh dear. Nightmare. Oh, what's happened to ETS2? Um. Right, I think what I'm going to do is quick travel. Oh, I have no idea how to do that. How do I quick quick travel back to London? No, that's... Arnold seems reliable. I, Arnold's a sort of name that... I, I, it's got a ring to it. Yeah, there's the other truck, look. In London. They're all in London. Okay. 11,000 miles. Oh yeah, the Volvo's really been trucking. Go to garage manager and quick travel. Thank you. Where is that? Out of travel. Yes. Right, I'm going back to London. And I guess this will put me in my in my daff in in my garage in London. Yeah, there we go. Can you actually see the other truck? No, you can't. Well, back to London it is. And now, I want to swap trucks. How do I swap trucks first? <laughs> no driver assigned. I just want to assign myself. No! Myself! How do I, how do I get into the truck? Thank, please guys. <laughs> no idea. You need to drive into your garage. Oh dear. Thanks, Greg. There, yeah, I've driven my car. My, my truck. <laughs> my new one. Truck manager, pick the truck and then choose drive it. Drive it. Yes. Thank you. We just need to hire the driver, then we're good. Ah, that's better. Beautiful. Oh, I'm happy now. Ooh, better put the better put the parking brake on. Oh, that's window wipers. <sighs> right. Recruitment agency. London. Once we're here, might as well have a look in London. Hire a driver. Right, who's the most reputable here? We've got Mikhail Lenka, Mill Ast Astrid, G Arnold, uh, Siobhan, Ethan, Sydney L. He looks a really cool guy as well. Gregory, <laughs> Victor Bastian again. Marek, Josh, Leon, Jury, Eric, Philippe, Vladim <laughs> Vladimir. I like Vladimir, guys. I think he can carry flammable goods. His reputation is very poor. And Elsie, who's the... Oh, they're, they're all rubbish. <laughs> Vladimir, please, guys. <laughs> I just love that name. And he looks he looks like he, he's going to work hard. Bottom left on page one, good rep, best option. But what was his name? His name wasn't Vladimir, though, was it? No, that was a Millar. Not, not the name I'm looking for. Any Vladimir knows how to carry flammable goods. 
Woods. <laughs> Done. Uh, where do you wish to reside your new driver? London, please. And then pick a target slot. There's your daff, Vladimir. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Right, now I need to make sure that um, he's... Uh, look, he's, yeah, look, Dirk was 0 0.8. He's up to 3.3, so give him time. He'll be fine. Training policy, yes. What am I putting that towards? Oh, my goodness me. Base wage is good as well. Well, I've got three trucks and a garage. We'll be, we'll be grand in the future. ADR, thanks, John. Training on explosives. <laughs> There we are. I think we're good. Well, that's... I didn't expect to be back in London, so sorry about that, guys, for continuity. Not great. Uh, but Vladimir's ready to go. And yeah, I'm in London now, aren't I? So, I mean, what I'll do, I'll save the game. And then, well, we'll go from there. We might do that uh, online thing next time. Be quite a nice one to do for the 10th one. Hey, John, it's good to bring up the earnings. Cool. Thanks, John. Alpaca Logistics. Save. There we are. All done, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that uh, two and a half hours. That's exactly what I was looking for. Two, two and a half hours. A bit of fun on Euro Truck Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And uh, we'll carry on with episode 10. Hopefully not the too distant future. I might play a few other games on this channel as well. Uh, back to work for the next uh, five days. So we'll be a little bit quiet on the on the Discord to any members here. All members here pretty much. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll jump into the aircraft uh, next week. Stay safe and I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.